Warning, this book is full of secondhand embarrassment that will have you absolutely writhing, but I'm here to tell you why you should absolutely read it anyway, especially if you are somebody who's ever felt caught between two different identities, or if you're a white person who has thoughts about what it means to be a good ally, because this book might challenge those ideas. My name is Yona. I'm a librarian at Field Teen Center of the Free Library of Philadelphia, and today I'm going to be talking about Imposter Syndrome and Other Confessions of Alejandra Kim by Patricia Park. This book is funny, it's personable, Alejandra feels like somebody I would like to hang out with, and as she explains in the first chapter of the book, she is American, and her parents are Koreans who grew up and were raised in Argentina. So she is both East Asian, Korean, not China, and Latinx, even though she doesn't look what people expect a Latinx person to look like. And this is especially challenging for her as one of very, very few Asian Americans or Latinx people at her super woke, but like super white private high school where people bend over backwards to talk about how woke they are, but struggle to actually be helpful and be kind to her. One of the things that starts happening very early in the story is that a guest teacher who is so prestigious, everyone's so excited to learn from him, is saying some racially insensitive things to Alejandra. When he sees her name on the roster, he immediately chooses to say, oh, multi culti you'll have no problem getting into college, which feels very dismissive for her. In her life outside of school, Alejandra feels like she can be loud and take up space and say what she feels without having to worry about being PC. But at school, it's hard for her to speak up about anything, but especially for herself. So she's content to just write it out, let him say what he's gonna say and deal with it. But her white best friend, Laurel, is not gonna stand for it. And she's willing to stand up for her at any costs, which sounds really nice. And it kind of is sometimes, but sometimes she makes it way, way worse. And this story really picks up steam after Laurel makes some choices for Alejandra without asking her that snowball in a horrible, horrible way. I did think the book was a little bit slow at first, but I didn't mind because I was just enjoying hanging out with these characters and getting to know them. But by about the 40% mark of the book, I was so invested and so hooked and I couldn't put it down until I finished. If you read this book or decide to bring it into the classroom as a teaching tool, I hope it gives you permission to defy other people's stereotypes and expectations of you. If you're looking for other funny, heartfelt coming of age stories, you should absolutely try Azar on Fire or Perfectly Parveen, both by Olivia Abtahi and both really great books. If you're looking for more book recommendations or you just wanna say hi, get in touch with us because we'd love to hear from you. You can always DM us on Instagram or email us. Or of course, you can visit us in person at Field Teen Center. We're located on the ground floor of Parkway Central Library at 1901 Vine Street. Our hours have been known to change from time to time, but currently our hours are 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. For the most up-to-date information on our hours and any upcoming events, be sure to follow us on social media and check our website. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you find something great to read.